Hi, welcome. My name is Akila, and we're about to do Akila on the Beat. I'm here with my lovely co-host, Chains. I'm here with Olivier. And today, we're going to be talking about the historic flooding that's been sweeping all of Vermont. We're going to talk to some people and see what they think. Stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's go. Um, have you known anyone that's been personally affected by the floods or you yourself? Uh, yeah, I own Hallow Herb Farm. It's a medicinal herb farm here at the Intervale. And I also work for Pitchfork Farm. Okay. And yeah, we've both been flooded out right now. Um, and how have you guys been able to like cope with those things or what is like the recovery process that you guys might be going through to deal with the thunderstorm that's coming this afternoon? Well, we're just trying to basically get everything kind of secure as much as we can now. And um, we did a lot of things as the flood was coming in to like get the tractors in and get all the infrastructure in as much as possible. And then before the flood hit, it was really fast. We had short notice. So we had a lot of like volunteers and people come down and just try to harvest as much as we possibly could before the waters hit. Yeah, That's very devastating. And I'm yeah. sorry that you were affected. Um, do you feel like the community definitely like rallied behind you um, and again like the communal support that was available during the floods? Yeah there is a lot of people came out and um, people have been really nice like donating food and donating like water and like different things like that so it seems like the community has been really good and people have been pretty aware and now a lot of people want to help now but we can't even really get out to our fields far enough to really assess the damage yet so we're still we're in the very beginning of recovery phase. So we're just going to talk a little bit about these floods that have been happening. Do you know anybody that's been personally affected by the floods? Um, only in minor ways, luckily. So okay. nothing major. Anything you want to spill on what's happening? Uh, just events that have been canceled and uh, people's landscapes that have been messed up, but not their houses. Okay. And just one more question. How do you feel about it? Do you feel like it may affect, I know you said you worked in the garden house, so like do you think it'll affect any of your business or um, just general effects on the community at all? Yeah, I think it'll affect our business a little bit, but hopefully we'll bounce back pretty quickly afterwards too. So, you know, people have to focus on recovery and not shopping and gardening and things like that right now, but yeah. they'll get back to it. Absolutely. Have you yourselves or anybody that you know been personally affected by the floods? Yeah, I actually have a friend who has a bar down in Ludlow, and that shit just got flooded completely. Wow. It's very messed up. He's going to have to either sell it or do something else with it. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. There's been a lot of flooding up here, and it's all global warming related. So <laughs> Definitely, you know, yeah. yes, exactly. That's Tied in. <laughs> Personally, no, I haven't had too many personal issues with the flood, but I've seen a lot of businesses just destroyed, yeah. totaled sucks to see yeah. you want to yeah. see the community get better yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, I haven't had a lot of personal issues with the floods either but i've seen like montpelier and pictures and all the flooding there and it's terrible yeah. and i hope i'm praying everybody is safe yeah. and you know hopefully it clears out and you know with the storm coming tonight i hope everyone is getting prepared or ready for that as well because it's going to be detrimental probably yeah how are you guys going to be hunkering down for the flood that's about to come um you have some games in mind or I actually, you gotta... <laughs> I'm going to try to do some deliveries because I'm yeah, like making money right now. Same. Okay, I understand. Smart. Yeah, totally. Yeah. If the roads aren't too bad, though. Yeah. Isn't there, there's going to be a tornado warning up here? I yeah, heard that. Yeah. yeah. Warning, That's warning. never like happened in We're Vermont. Hit with major disasters yeah, left and right. Yeah, for real. It's, yeah. it's crazy. So are you guys going to be <laughs> doing we're gonna, working? We'll probably, yeah, we'll be gaming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, probably, we're going to our, probably our college's eSports Center and just going to stay in there for the whole storm maybe and just, uh, yeah, either in, inside, to, yeah, keep indoors. Yeah. What school are you guys at? Oh, Champlain. Champlain College. Okay, yeah. hey, yeah. neighbors, I'm a Champlain oh, student. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. It was very nice meeting you guys and stay safe. Yeah, you, yeah, too. you too. Yes. As you can see down below, we have a row close sign here at the Intervale preparing everybody for the impending thunderstorm that's going to hit later tonight. 